In our previous video, we had a look at what we do when we multiply algebraic terms together, and I suggest you check that video out first. But today, we're going to have a look at what we do when we divide algebraic terms. So, let's begin. I want to start today by considering the expression 28AB divided by 7A. Now, when we're dividing algebraic terms, the first thing that we need to do is to represent that division in fractional form. So, we represent this problem as 28AB all over with the fraction line 7A, and that's now represented in fractional form. Now, just like in the multiplying algebraic terms video, we can use the associative law to start breaking this problem up. So we can represent this problem as the number component first of 28 over 7 multiplied by the variable component of AB over A. And this allows us to simplify this much easier. Now we deal with each fraction individually. Now the number fraction, we simplify this by finding the highest common factor, the biggest number that divides into both. Now the biggest number that divides into 28 and 7 is 7. So it divides into 28 four times and divides into 7 once. What we're left with is 4 divided by 1, which is equal to 4. And that's going to multiply the other fraction. Now the other fraction here, we notice that A is a common factor to both. Now A divided by A is going to be 1 over 1. So what we're left with on the top is 1 multiplied B, and that's going to be divided by 1, so we're just left with B. So it's going to be equal to 4 times b. But of course, we can represent 4 times b as 4b. So our final answer is 4b. And now we've done that problem, let's try those steps again on the second problem we've got here. The first step being, represent the division in a fraction form. So, this will equal negative 15xy divided by 10y. And now the associative law says that I can break this problem up. So this is going to be equal to negative 15 over 10 multiplied by the variables of x, y over y. And from here, I then simplify the fractions. So the first fraction that has the numbers, we need to look for the highest common factor. Now the highest common factor is going to be 5 here. So we divide both the top term, the numerator, and the denominator, the bottom term, by 5. Now, negative 15 divided by 5 is still going to have that negative symbol, but it goes 3 times. And 10 divided by 5 goes twice. So the fraction that we're left with is negative 3 over 2. And that's going to be multiplied by the other fraction. But let's simplify that first. Now I notice these y's are a common factor here. And these y's will cancel each other out, and it will leave us with this multiplied by 1 over 1. So the second fraction is going to be x times 1, which is just x, divided by 1. And now we need to multiply the fractions. When we're multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators together first, so that's negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And that's going to be divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So our final answer is going to be negative 3x divided by 2. And we represent that negative at the front. So let's revise the key steps of dividing algebraic terms. When we're dividing algebraic terms, the first thing that we need to do is represent the division in fractional form. Then we use the associative law to break up our fractions into the numeric component and the variable component. From there, we simplify each fraction individually by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the highest common factor. And it's important to understand at this point that common factors can be numbers and they can be variables. And then we simplify it to our final answer. So now I'd like for you to have a go. I've got four questions here that I'd like you to try and simplify by dividing the algebraic terms together. 